All right, so today we're gonna to be showing you how to properly punch out a hole in your combiner box. And for the, this project, we're gonna need some simple tools you can find around the house. We'll start with a crescent wrench and a flathead screwdriver and any choice of hammer. We like the rubber mallet because it's soft. So the point of your C box or combiner box is to properly bring in your solar on your roof of your rig and you have options of where you would like to place that depending on what you have on your roof, depending on AC units, fans, or just vents and such. This is your opening from where you'll be running your solar route into your rig. We'll be installing a positive and a negative post, which is where you'll be attaching each of your solar panels. So a good way to start before getting ready to punch your hole is always to remove your negative and positive posts just so you don't damage them or have any problems in the future. So pretty straightforward. Most people see this little notch in the middle. You don't actually want to aim for that because it'll just bounce back. You actually want to aim for the edges right here and try to work your way around the seal. Shouldn't have to work all the way around. Normally a couple taps should do it. So we're going to go and attempt to pop out this center one right here. So we'll just kind of get there on the edge, hold it steady and watch your fingers down below. We'll give it a pop, move it around a little bit to the other side. Just working our way kind of like four corners. And there, it's your remove piece right there. And then the reason why we don't want to aim towards the center is a lot of common times you'll want to use so much force to get through finally that you'll have cracking and that could potentially jeopardize the threading when you're putting your weather tight restrain in there. So we'll start with pulling off the threading of your weather tight strain relief. And we'll go straight in through there. Should be somewhat snug. And then on here, if you look I don't know if it's a little clearer, but you have a pointed side and a flat side. You're going to want the pointed side to be facing in towards the wall so it can actually get some traction on there. Just slip that in. Get it hand tight. Sometimes helps to remove your outside plug. And then we'll just go and take your presser wrench and tighten that up snug, but not too tight. After that, you're ready to go ahead and put your tightener on. This one's set for a 10-2 gauge on your cable and just tighten until you have no more pulling on the cable. So when all is said and done and you have all your cables properly secured in here, you're gonna go and get your lid on there which has a little gasket around the inside to apply a little bit of compression. We'll put that on there tightly. Take your T-tool and tighten these up until they're nice and snug.